What's happening everyone, it's Scott here from WFLBC and uh, I've got a whole new recording setup here. So if you see me looking down here, I've got a uh, HDMI monitor coming out of my Fujifilm X-T10, which I am now recording in glorious 4K at 24 frames per second. Today I wanna to talk about something a little bit different. It's still camera related. It's, I guess it's not that different. I wanna talk about why, if you already own a camera, like if you already own uh, DSLR or a mirrorless camera or I don't know an advanced point-and-shoot or anything like that why you probably don't need that new camera that you've been looking at I know that sounds silly coming from this whole setup here um, this cabinet over here is absolutely loaded with cameras I think I've got uh, three mirrorless bodies in there I've got uh, Panasonic FZ 300 I've got well wow, this is normally in there but my G7X Mark II, um, which is normally in that cabinet, is right here. Like I said, advanced point and shoot. Um, and I've just upgraded to a Fujifilm X-T20. I don't need any of those things, and I'm gonna tell you why. So I've made a list, I actually wrote it on paper because I'm an old man, and uh, I like paper, I like film, I like all that stuff, so. You don't need a new camera, okay? You don't need it. Save your money. Now, a lot of you probably maybe don't have a camera and you're looking to buy your first camera. This video isn't really for you. If you want to move up from your phone, yes, you need a new camera. But if you already have a camera, even if it's a couple of years old, you don't really need a new one, okay? First things first, megapixels, they don't matter. They don't matter. Even 10 or 12 megapixels is absolutely perfectly adequate for 99.9 percent .9 of the world's population who is taking pictures and sharing them online putting them on facebook twitter instagram wherever if you have an older dslr even you know something with a ccd sensor or who knows what you have as long as you have good lenses the camera doesn't really matter as much as you think it does. Now the key to overcoming this need to buy more gear is just go out with the stuff you have and take more pictures. Buying new gear is not going to get you out of the house and taking pictures any more than the gear you already have. So gear is not necessarily going to inspire you to go out and take pictures. Now for me because I review cameras it does get me out of the house and shooting a little more often but I even struggle with that sometimes it's with a brand new shiny piece of gear that's not mine that I can go out and flog all day long. That's not the reason that I get out of the house. I go and shoot because I like it and I've actually started to post a lot less often on social media, uh, photography and just in general on social media because I've sort of had like a recent change of heart about what social media gets from me and what it gives back. I feel like there's a bit of an imbalance there. So that's another tip. I would say take pictures for you. Don't take pictures for the internet. Invest in glass. For me, I generally stick with one system uh, and that's the Fujifilm X system. For you, maybe you shoot Canon or Nikon or Panasonic. There's so much glass out there for all these cameras. The camera doesn't really matter. It's just a tool. Tools are something you should get excited about, but they shouldn't be the thing that creates your art for you. You do that with your brain and your eyes. Now, one of the things I do to improve my photography is I shoot a lot of film. My wife just came in here. If anybody is like overly wowed by this whole setup, it's just my garage, so people come down here a lot. Uh, I got a couple drawers open over here because I grabbed some film cameras. Film helps me learn how to shoot because you only have 24 or 36 chances with the roll of film you have to get a good shot. Chances are only two or three, if you're lucky, of those shots are really any good. I've gotten a little carried away with the film camera collection, but honestly, they're not that expensive. The expensive part is the film and the, the developing afterwards. Uh, if I had more room in here, I'd probably do it myself, but this is still a functioning garage as well as a studio. Um, but something like this, um, Voigtlander uh, Vito CD or this Contax one, what is it, a 159mm? And then a lot of this, um, well not this, but like stuff like this, I'll use this lens, which is a beautiful Zeiss lens, on my Fujifilm cameras with adapters. So if you wanna invest in glass, 
rescue some of these old lenses and uh, throw them on your new digital body. Shooting film, I mean, you learn how a camera works. So you learn uh, shutter speed, you learn ISO, you learn aperture, you learn composition. It just, if you don't know those things, you won't get a usable photograph. If you're in the market for a camera, you wanna upgrade or you want to get something that's better than your phone, buy something used. I think what I'm going to do after this video, I've actually put a couple of bids on eBay on a couple of old Sony DSLRs, uh, like an A65 or something like that. Something with a CCD sensor. I don't want one of their translucent mirror things. I want like a proper uh, prism and a mirror but they're fairly cheap. They're a couple hundred Canadian dollars, so a little bit less than American dollars. And I have some Minolta lenses that fit on them, so obviously I wanna take advantage of that, but uh, I think I'm going to, I have some, you know, some not incredibly current cameras I could do a project like this with, like my X-T10 or my X-A1, which are my two longest held digital cameras. The X-A1 I've covered in excruciating detail on this channel and how much I love it. So I feel like that would be a little over the top. So I think that what I wanna do is just go completely away from Fujifilm for this little challenge that I wanna do with a cheap camera and just show you guys what you can do for a few hundred bucks uh, with a used camera from the internet. So that's pretty much it. Just a, just a quick video today of me talking to you about saving your money. You don't need a new camera. And if you're looking to upgrade from your smartphone or something, you don't need to buy really expensive gear. There's a lot of other options out there. Advanced point and shoots, used cameras, bridge cameras, super zooms, the sky's the limit. But uh, do a little research and save your money, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content if you wanna see that photo project that's going to be coming up. I don't know, cause stuff on eBay tends to take forever to arrive. That's it, thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.